this is uh, elderberry. This is in the Capifoliaceae, which means what? Opposite. Opposite. And it has, and there's a few remnant ones leaning out over the water there. It has a compound leaf. There's some little, we're barely hanging on remnants of leaves there. So compound leaf. You don't have another Capifoliaceae with a compound leaf. Now here, I'm going to start with something different than we normally do, but it's probably one of the best things. And that's the bark and the twig. Right away, the first year of its life, it gets covered in eruptions, uh, very blown out uh, lenticels. They're like little volcano eruptions that split all over the stem. And then they just get bigger and bigger. So a, a big one just looks like a big twig. All the lenticels all over it. It never turns into some like ridge and furrowed bark. It just looks like a giant twig. Here, so here, that twig to that size, to that size, to this size. They just have all those lenticels all over them. And of course, opposite leaf scars. And then on a twig, the other thing, Big, huge pith. It's a spongy, that's kind of chewed out there, but it's a solid, spongy, brown pith. This is a lot, a lot of it's gone in here, but dark brown pith. So it's not very woody, it's mostly open in the inside. These get huge clumps of maybe just blueberries, about the size of a beauty. Big piles of them big white clump of flowers in the spring and they you can make all kinds of stuff out of elderberries. Anybody have elderberry? Make elderberry wine, jams, pie. Elderberry pie? No? Nobody ever had any? So you can find all kinds of good recipes for that. They like a wet area. Not They don't have to be like half in, half out of water like hazel alder right here. Uh, you'll see this real commonly along all our highways where they have the water running off off the side of like ditches. In the spring, there's like elderberry down in every one of those little holes <laughs> in, in that moist soil from the roadside water. Okay, so you'll, in the spring, you'll see clumps of white flowers on shrubs about that tall. This, that's about max height for the ones here in, the, in Virginia. Some parts of the country, they get bigger, but that's about as big as you'll, you'll see. Them. Okay, good on that. I would be using just pretty much that twig surface, opposite, and then how that thing looks, because it just stays, no matter what size, it kind of stays like that.